From other videos, we obtain the coefficient of determination or r squared by using Excel functions. The links of those videos are in the description below and also in the end screens after this video. This time, we will calculate r squared using another Excel function, which is the Linus function. So, stay tuned. It is highly advisable to spend time in typing the values in the first three columns. This will greatly help you in understanding the procedures. To determine the coefficient of determination, let's use the Excel Linus function. Go to cell G2. Go to formulas. Choose more functions. Then select statistical. Scroll down. Then point the mouse to Linus. This box shows the syntax of the function as well as short description. Clicking the function results to a dialog box. To understand more about the function, click this link. Internet browser will open the link. It says that Linus function use least squares method to find the line of best fit. To know more about least squares method, click the card above. The linear equation for simple regression is here as well as for multiple regression. Next is the syntax or how the formula will be created. Next are statistics included in the result. R squared or coefficient of determination is one of them. Take note of the order of the results. Next are remarks. It says that R squared is the result of dividing SSR with SST. This calculation was used on video appearing in the card above, which you can watch after this video. Lastly, the examples for you to try the function. Now, let's go back to our Excel file. Click the field of non Ys and choose the values of dependent variable Y, which is the cells. For non X, Choose the values of independent variable x, which is the three choose pending. For constant, use false if we set the constant or y-intercept at zero. This time, we will use true since we calculate intercept or constant b normally. For stats, use false if we want only the slope coefficient and the constant or y-intercept. We will write true since we need not just the slope coefficient and the intercept. We also need the r-squared. Once everything was filled up, click OK. We obtain a result of 4.617. From cell G2, we need to select 5 rows and 2 columns. Go to the formula you created. In your keyboard, press Ctrl, Shift, Enter. Cordy brackets will appear in your formula, while below are the 10 results. What are these results? Let's bring back the web page. According to the link, 2470.28 is the SSR, 456.632 is the SSA, R square is on the third row under first column, which means 0.84441. That is the same with our previous Excel calculation. If you want to present only the R square, then use index function. The first input will be the array, which is the Linus formula. You need the non y's, non x, constant, and stats. The second input is the row number 3 since r squared is on the third row. The third input is the column number 1 since r squared is on the first column. Now we obtain the same result of 0.84. 441. That's it. We learn another way of obtaining R squared. Like, share, and comment. To know different ways to compute R squared, click this end screens. Thanks for watching.